Food trucks in the metro could soon see a light at the end of the tunnel with a new Nebraska bill, especially those constantly facing regulatory roadblocks when trying to operate in different counties. Our Johan Marin tells us how this bill will give relief to these small business owners. On a typical day, you'd find Jonathan Taylor working his food truck at Trucks and Taps, a popular hub for food truck vendors to operate. But there are some days when he's constantly on the road. Uh, we largely work off of requests, so people request us to go out, we go out. Taylor's a co-owner of Three Kids Lobster in the modern waffle food truck. He often is jumping around Omaha, Rawson, La Vista, Papillion, and other cities in the metro. As a food truck owner, Taylor says you can run into some issues. Within a five minute drive, I need four different city permits plus the health, two different health department permits. Taylor notes it can be a lot for a small business. Every city has a different food code with different set of regulations that may or may not allow a food truck to operate. And with a different set of regulations also means different costs for a permit. Anytime I go to a new city, um, I have to really dig in and do a ton of research just finding out what the different rules are, what permits I need, what licenses I need. This can be exhausting, especially for new food truck owners, says Taylor. That can be a real challenge. Senator Tony Vargas proposed a bill that would require the Nebraska Department of Agriculture to set a list of areas where food trucks can sell and set a mutual agreement for permits between Lancaster, Douglas, and Hall counties. This isn't Vargas' first time addressing regulations over food trucks. His last proposal stalled in the committee back in 2019. These are small business entrepreneurs that are meeting a need and all different walks of life in terms of food as well and cultural experiences. We need to make it easier for food trucks to be able to exist. Taylor says he's glad this problem is getting attention. It would be an enormous step in the right direction. On your side, Johan Marin, 6 News. The legislature's Agriculture Committee is set to hear testimony of the proposal on Tuesday.